welcome back to my channel. Hello. I have done a third and final look using the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. So I've created a series of looks because I got the palette and then I became obsessed with it. I'm still obsessed with it. I literally think, I mean, it speaks for itself. It's so cute. There are so many nice shades and shimmers in there. It's so easy to use. It's also just a really sturdy palette. It's got a proper big mirror. I just love it. I literally love the palette. It's become my favourite palette very quickly and I have a lot of palettes because I love makeup. Love, love, love the palette. Okay, Hedda? I love your palette. Um, so yeah. But yeah, so I got the palette and I decided to just film three, three looks using the palette because when it came down to sitting down and filming a look using it I realised there are so many looks that I love using the palette and I couldn't just get it down to one and this is the third and final one so it's a bit of a sad time but obviously I'm still going to use the palette moving forward in my tutorials because I like it and even just like dipping into one purple or one pink or one shimmer one glitter it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Probably in my next tutorial I'm still gonna be using the palette. But this is like a dedicated look using only the palette. This is like full on like, I mean this isn't an everyday look, but it's for when you want to, you know, make a bit more of an effort, you want to feel a bit more special. Or wear it in the daytime, wear it whenever you want. I think it's so cute, the glitters are so nice. Why can't you wear it in the daytime? Okay, I've also just kept these tutorials just so that I haven't done like a full face tutorial. Just because I don't want to, you know, deter from the palette itself. Um, so yes, I have filmed three looks using this palette. You can see the other two on my channel, so head over and watch those after this one. Without further ado, if you want to know how to recreate this look, then just keep on watching. So this is the final look I'm going to be doing of the series, series. So I'm going to go big, I'm going to go bold, I'm going to go like I've never gone before. Okay, we've already seen the intro, so you're in the know. But yeah, I'm going to go like there's no tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to start off with... I feel like I should start off with something different and the fact that I've just said I'm going to do a different type of look. I'm going to go in with Teddy, first of all, which is this colour down here. It's a little bit dark, but I have started all of the looks off using this palette with this tone or that tone. So I do feel like I'm going to be light-handed. Wait, is that shade lighter? Oh, I think this shade is actually lighter than that one. So I'm going to go in, first of all, with this colour. And this is called Secret. And the brush I'm going to go in with is the JH32. So I'm just going to lightly start applying this in the crease section, starting on the outer part of the eye and then moving further in when it's all off my brush. So no surprises there. Same technique as usual. So just lightly taking this back and forward to blend it in and obviously you've watched my other episodes using this palette so you know that I love the palette and I think the tones are super blendable and easy to work with I really like this brush as well, it's pretty soft and this baby hair is constantly all over my forehead which I'm not loving and I just dropped my brush! I feel like something's against me filming this video today, but I get through it. I'm excited to see what look I create. I'm going to try and basically use all the shades that I haven't yet used and create something a little bit different right here for today. I'm sure it's pretty blended out over there. So I'm keeping the shade a little bit higher than the actual crease itself, more like on the brow bone. Just because it is a really light shade and I'd rather it like shaped my eye a bit more out there. And then when I get to the slightly dark tones, I'm going to bring them down a bit. But you know the drill. Next I'm going to go in with... 
I'm gonna go in with Spanked. I haven't used it yet and it's really cute. For today, I'm gonna make sure I use Spanked and Kinky because they sound the best and I haven't used them yet. I just wanna use all the colors that I actually haven't even used yet. Just to make sure that in my little series, you can actually see all of the colors. And I can give my opinion on all of them as well. But like generally, generally I love the palette. It's a specific type of general look that you will get with the palette. It's always going to be like a pinky, cute, like almost like romantic style of look. Although I do think with the lighter tones you can also create a really cool daytime, like lilac -y eyes. So actually ignore what I just said. Just making sure it's all blended. I can always come back at the end and just blend out the edges a bit more if I need to. <sighs> What colour to use next? I'm going to go in with Lovelight, I think, because I've only used it like once or twice and it's probably the darkest shade in the palette, so it's that one. And I'm going to keep using the same brush because why not? And I'm just going to put this literally in the crease, mainly on the outer part as well. Just to add a little bit of dimension, you know? Just like that thing, a little something something. A little something something. Making sure it's blended in. You can do windshield wiper motions and then you can do small circles. Whatever you need to do to get that shade blended. Next I'm going to, um, oh god it's so hard to choose. I'm going to use Infatuated all over the lid. And I'm going to use my finger as well because this is a fun colour. It is more of a glitter. Probably should have put something underneath it. So what I'm going to do instead is put one of them, the other ones, over the top I think. Because it is more of like just a glitter. And then I'm going to go in with Kinky and I'm going to put this on the outer part of the eye. So I'm literally just dotting it in the outer part. I'll come back and blend a bit with a brush. So just really lightly blending that at the edge. But this is fun. I'm actually loving how it looks so far. I think it's really cute. Hmm, do I want something on the inner corner? I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of Rave, which is this one in the palette, just on the inner part of the eye, but just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Hmm, yeah, that looks cute. Not on the very inner corner, because I'll just use a different highlighter for that, but literally on the little, I don't know what that bit's called. So like right where the eye starts on the top. This is actually a really cute colour. I don't feel like I've used this one before. But I have because there's a finger mark in there. You know, I actually really like how that's looking. I think it's really cute. And it was so quick and easy to create. And that is why I love this palette. Because they are beautiful, beautiful looks. And so varied as well. But genuinely so easy to create. The shadows are so, so blendable and buildable as well. So you can make them darker very easily. And then the shimmers are just honestly like so shimmery. I know I am using my finger and a lot of people use a brush and I think like you can't really compare the two because with a brush I really feel like you hardly get anything out and you also ruin the shadows in my opinion. But I always use my finger and these are so pigmented. They are literally, <laughs> literally stunning. It's such a cute like concoction of shades and shimmers. So next I'm going to swap to a Real Technique, a Real Techniques teeny brush. This is the Precision Smudge Brush. So I'm going to go in with the same colours that I use on the top basically. So I'm going to start off with Secret, which is this one. And then I'm going to go in with Teddy. Oh, I didn't use Teddy in the end, did I? So I'm going to go in with Secret and then I'm going to go in with Love Bite, which is that really dark purple one. <laughs> And we'll see how that looks. So 
So I like the way that's looking. I think I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm going to put my false lashes on and then see if I'm done or if I want to add a little something something. I'm definitely going to add some highlighter on the inner corner and on the brow um, and see if anything else needs to be added too. Okay, I'm nearly finished. I really hope you like the look and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.